THC beverages are the latest buzz in a growing market for hemp and cannabis products in Minnesota. And Twin Cities emergency rooms say they are beginning to see trends that suggest the high isn't necessarily a safer drink than alcohol. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan shares what you and your family need to know. Minnesotans are seeing green, but the new state law legalizing pot won't deliver dispensaries for at least another year. Still, the law for the first time allowing liquor stores to sell drinks with THC, a product flying high off the shelves. You wake up the next morning, you're not hungover, and you, you, know, you can be more productive you know, in general. Sigma Cannabis Company showing off its latest product, an Arnold Palmer style beverage, each can offering 10 milligrams, which is two servings of the substance. CEO Josh Maslowski saying because of its accessibility, THC beverages now account for half the THC market in Minnesota. Nationally, it's only 3%. Considering the feedback, considering the interest, this is a huge opportunity right now. 100%, yeah. We're, we're putting more or less of the vast majority of our focus into THC beverages as a company right now while we're waiting on the other legislation to kind of take its course for traditional dispensaries and, and, and high-dose cannabis. The trend of drinking alcohol is going one way and the trend of cannabis is going the other way. Alcohol, even if potentially less popular, still much more well-known, especially when it comes to short and long-term risks. The same with its effect on an individual's behavior. A drink of THC. I think it's just a totally different way of thinking about the drug or medication that you're consuming. People don't go to the bar and say, I'm going to have two grams of alcohol. Dr. John Cole is a toxicologist and director of Hennepin County Poison Control. The way that I would say it is it's, it's going to be less predictable for people than alcohol is, um, and partly because the effects are delayed. Someone gets drunk, mm -hmm. you cut them off. The problem is you don't know when to cut off with a THC drink because it doesn't kick in for a while. And by the time it does, it might be too late. There's no way to stop the wave once it comes. No, no, it's, uh, it's true. And uh, I've, I've come across patients who, who feel that way, who you know, thought they were stopping, and then the, the, you know, the, the effects start to uh, continue to increase after they think they've stopped. And it's really unpleasant. They feel pretty miserable. The message from Dr. Cole to consumers, take it low and slow. Josh Maslowski from Stigma Cannabis Company agrees. A personal responsibility. You need to have a little personal responsibility around your own cannabis use, especially if you're a novice. In Minneapolis, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Dr. Cole said the vast majority of adult patients who overdose on THC make a full recovery, but there is a much higher risk for severe outcomes if a child consumes too much. He urges users to be extra careful with drinks and edibles in the house and keep them away from kids.